Everyone. Wait. What's up? I have something to tell you. Here? We're almost out of here. Let's go! I have to say it now. Over there. Somehow, my bad feelings always come true. I've... decided to marry. I thought so. <gasps> but... but why? Why'd you change your mind? For Spira's future, and Yevon's unity. I thought it would be... The best thing to do. That's not good enough. Wait, is it? Is it because of Lord Jiskel? Hey, that's fear! Show me. I can't. I must speak to Maester Seymour first. I truly am sorry, but this is... It is a personal matter. You're kidding, huh? As you wish. I'm sorry. Just one thing. Uh, I won't quit my pilgrimage. Then it is fine. Wait a minute, Oren. You don't care? I mean, you're not gonna stop her? No, I'm not. As long as she is willing to face sin, all else is her concern. That is a summoner's privilege, as long as she journeys. But that's... Uh, uh. Yuna, just one question. Can't you just talk to Maester Seymour? You got to marry him? Don't know. But I think it is the right thing to do. Okay, I guess. Uni! Quiet! I wish we could help somehow. Some way. It's okay. I'll be fine. She says I'm sorry. He says it's fine. She's willing to face sin. She's privileged. I didn't understand. But somehow, I felt like I didn't belong. But if I didn't belong with them, I'd be stuck in Spira, alone. And being alone in that place, well, I didn't want to think about it. Next, we're going to Makalania Temple. Yuna can talk with Seymour there. We Guardians will wait until they're done, and plan our next move. Understood? I'm sorry, everyone.
Need a light? You're worried about Yuna. <sighs> of course I'm worried about her. What is she thinking? The simplest answer would be... In exchange for agreeing to marry him, she hopes to negotiate with Seymour. Negotiate what? I wonder. 
What? All by herself? <laughs> She's strong, but Seymour is the better negotiator. Well then, why don't we do something about it? Yuna wants it this way. Huh. I just don't get it. Doesn't she trust us? On the contrary. She doesn't want us caught up in whatever it is she's planning. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. But that makes me worry even more. She could just tell us. That's the way she is. She's naive, serious to a fault, and doesn't ask for help. <laughs> You're probably right. Yuna's easy to read. <laughs> yeah, she is. But hard to guard. Stand by her. Always. Slow pokes! Sorry. It's funny how calm I was. Maybe it was because I'd realized that Yuna wasn't marrying Seymour for love. Not really. It was just her duty. Something she had to do before returning to her pilgrimage. That's what I kept telling myself anyway. And well, maybe. I realized that Yuna and I'd never, you know. Yuna, let's go. Everyone, focus on the enemy. Thinking isn't solving anything!
Let's end this. Don't look so shocked. Time to waste. Let's go. Let me break the ice.
<sighs> you... have you seen Donna? Donna? Can't say I have. What's up? We got separated on the way here. Damn it all! I've got to find her! Calm down. But if anything happens to her... Running around in a panic is not going to help. Right now, you have to keep cool and search. But... Guard your emotions, then guard your summoner. You're right. Shall we search? No, I've taken up enough of your time. Thank you, Sir Aran. What's up? Oh, I just wanted to wish him good luck. A butterfly with rainbow wings will lead the way to secret things.
how it's done.
welcome. Holiday prices on all items in celebration of Maester Seymour Guado's wedding. Too expensive. Wait. It is here. Somewhere. What's here? Something you should see. But... Sir Oren... It won't take long. This place, it's just water, isn't it? This is what spheres are made of. It absorbs and preserves people's memories. What's that? Fiends are also attracted to these places.
It absorbs all spells except its one weakness. This is old. Don't know if you can play it back. Checked. Left it here ten years ago. <sighs> play it back. Mm hmm. What are you taking? Well, you said it was going to be a long trip. We'll be seeing a lot of neat things, right? So I thought I'd record it all in this. To show to my wife and kid, you know. This is no pleasure cruise. Hey, Braska. Ain't this supposed to be a grand occasion? Where are the cheering fans, the crying women? This is it. Too many goodbyes. People think twice about leaving. If you say so. Well, it better be a lot more colorful when we come back. A parade for Braska, vanquisher of sin! <laughs> we should go. Day will break soon. Oren, could you stand closer to him? Good. That should do it. What's the matter? Afraid I might bite? Jacked. Braska, you should take one too. It'll make a great gift for little Yuna. I suppose. Lord Braska, we shouldn't be wasting our time like this. What's the hurry, man? Ugh. Let me tell you what the hurry is. Oren. What's the point? He wasn't on some pleasure cruise. I think there's more. Hey, if you're sitting there watching this, it means you're stuck in Spira like me. You might not know when you'll get back home. But you better not be crying. Although I guess I'd understand. 
But you know what? There's a time when you have to stop crying and move on. You'll be fine. Remember, you're my son. And, well, uh, never mind, I'm no good at these things. Anyways, I believe in you. Be good. Goodbye. He sounded almost serious, but it was too late. He was serious. Jacked had already accepted his fate. His fate? Jacked, he. He was always talking about going home to Xanarkand. That's why he took all those pictures, to show them to you when he returned. But as he journeyed with us and came to understand Spira, and Braska's resolve. It happened gradually, but Jekt changed. He decided he would join Braska in his fight against Sin. So then, he gave up going home? That was his decision. I guess I understood. My old man, he knew there was no way back home, back to Xanarkand. He wanted to go home, but he knew he couldn't. He couldn't go on until he accepted it. Besides, even if he had found a way back, I don't think he would have left his friends behind before their journey was complete. All right, let's go, guys. Maybe I had to start accepting my own fate. Wait. Yeah? Jekt loved you. Oh, come on, please. He just didn't know how to express it, he said. Enough about my old man, okay? I just thought you should know. Okay. Thanks. called Jekt, the man from Xanarkand, are you not? What of it? Watch your tongue, Knave. Ah, my apologies. I am Braska, a summoner. I've come to take you from this place. Mm, sounds sweet. What's the catch? <laughs> that easy to see, was it? I soon leave on a pilgrimage to Xanarkand. Seriously? Hmm. I would like you to join us. It will be a dangerous trip. Yet, if 
we do reach Xanarkand, my prayers will be answered, and you will be able to go home, we think. What say you? Great, let's go! Hmm. So quick? Anything to get out of here! Then it's settled. But I must protest. This drunkard, a guardian? Hey! You want to step in here and say that? What does it matter? No one truly believes that I, a fallen summoner wed to an Albed, could possibly defeat Sin. This is what they say. No one expects us to succeed. Braska, sir. <laughs> Let's show them they're wrong. A fallen summoner, a man from Xanarkin, and a warrior monk doomed to obscurity for refusing the hand of the priest's daughter. What delightful irony it would be if we defeated Sin. Stop gabbing and get me out of here. Free at last. Now, Jekt. I am in your hands until we reach Xanarkand. Right, right. So, what's a summoner anyway?